It is Sunday, May 3rd. Welcome to the Daily Word and World Press Freedom Day. Now, I admit I had never heard of that before, and it's commonly known as World Press Day. This was a day to acknowledge and recognize journalists and press and reporters, and it was created by the General Assembly of the United Nations. And I think this year it's pretty critical that we acknowledge this day. I don't think you have to send out a card. I don't think you have to pop the champagne. What I think I would like you to do is think about where you stand about the press, about news. If you're like me, you've spent the past couple of years in kind of a seesaw frenzy between all of the fake news and misinformation and misrepresentation and social media blitzkrieg. And then we come to 2020 where we are all sharing in this global pandemic and we are really counting on having accurate news, news that we can trust and rely upon. This year, if they get to have the conference in the Netherlands in October, the title of the conference will be Journalism Without Fear or Favor. Kind of an interesting juxtaposition of words, don't you think? To me, it's kind of like the juxtaposition of the First Amendment, right? So that there is freedom of the press to be able to speak what's on your mind and heart talking about truth and facts, not always the same. And then the Second Amendment, the right to bear arms. And right now we have this seesaw, this battle going on somewhere in between the two of them. And we're stuck in the middle. Well, I don't like to be stuck anywhere. So I am choosing to look at this day, to look at where I stand and how I feel about the news, how I feel about where I get my news. I know that I need to find news sources that I trust and rely on. And I have become very, very careful about anything that I share or post on social media that I really check out the veracity of my sources so I am not contributing to this problem. <sighs> it's a big one. So I am asking that you join me, that we stand in solidarity about the men and the women who are out on the front lines being essential workers in a different way so that there isn't the favoritism about who gets what press report or where or the fear, literal fear that these men and women have about getting the news to us at the sake of sometimes their own well-being or even their lives. I appreciate being able to speak my word, my truth, to have the freedom of this press to be able to share this with you. So thanks for watching today. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Till then, stay safe, stay sane, stay you.